All right, so I've been trying to explain to people here why we care so much about exterior dimensions of a foundation in our drawings. And I'm gonna go back to basic principles of how a building is put together. So the first thing we need to put together a building is the site. So we're gonna assume that this property right here, if this thing lets me wrap it, of course, um, is your lot. All right, so lots are delineated by a professional land surveyor. A professional land surveyor finds something called bounds and rebars. Rebars are bounds or points that uh, denotate where the corners, legal corners of the property are. Okay? So the professional land surveyor gives you the property, tells you where it is, tells you um, uh, the architect or we architects look for zoning and we understand the setbacks and all of the requirements and we say these are the setbacks and within those setbacks we're supposed to build something inside. If we tell our surveyor that we're going to be doing a 30 by 40 building, the surveyor is the one that's going to uh, pin the corners of where those are supposed to go. So when we tell them that we're going to be doing 30, they find the points of 30 from the property line, right? And then say, well, well they find where, where it's going to be on that corner, right? They find those corners, they pin it with a piece of rebar and then, um, that's after they've been approved, of course, and then they go 30 here, and they mark those points. Those are pins that they put. Those pins, uh, literally, if you have a site, and I'm gonna try to do some 3D, they literally put those rebar pieces on the ground, and they delineate the exterior corners of the foundation. Why do we care about the exterior corners of the foundation? We care about those because those are the closest to your property line. We don't want to be encroaching onto our property line. We also want to make sure that when they put their foundations, they keep in mind that foundations have something called footings. So when you have footings, um, those footings cannot be encroaching on somebody else's property. It will be illegal. So it's very important that you, your surveyor, gets those points and make sure that it's never on top of your property line. So that said, when you're designing a building, you cannot just put it right in the setbacks. You have to go back as much as you believe the foundation is gonna to need to go back so that you don't encroach onto your setbacks because this is the point that they're gonna put on their rebar, right there. They're gonna pin down those. Sometimes they pin down the footings too, uh, but I care much more about that exterior wall because that exterior wall goes first. If you give a contractor interior dimensions of your foundation, this is a foundation we plan, they're gonna have to do math and figure out this point, this point, this point, this point. Why are you doing that? Why don't you just give it to them directly? Okay, now the thing, the exterior face of a foundation is one of the most critical points within a building. It is a critical alignment that I keep telling people about. So, you have your top of foundation. You're gonna put your top plate, which needs to be pressure treated. Sometimes you put double top plate. This one's not pressure treated, this one is. Of course, there's a filler here. I don't wanna get into the details of that, but there's an insulating filler here. And remember, there is an ankle bolt there that's going every four feet or so. This thing is aligned forever. That face is aligned. You're gonna have your van joist. You're gonna have your plywood platform frame. You're gonna have your bottom plate. Oh, that continues to be aligned. That's a critical alignment. Everything else comes after. Your sheathing comes after. Your siding comes after. All of that comes after. So this alignment is critical. This tells them how to put the whole building together. That's why it's so critical. All the way from when the surveyor puts the pins to when the guy's pouring the concrete, all of that gives you a critical alignment that you have to follow throughout the whole building. All of that, that face is flush. Why is it flush? Because we don't want water. We don't want to have a foundation that does that and your floor does that because water is right on it. So that's critical alignment, critical alignment all the way through. So when you're pinning this, this relates to the site. The site is related to a bigger topographic, a bigger geographic you know, section of maps and, and, and historical data. So all of these things go from the macro to the micro to the micro to micro, but everything relates. So when you give me interior dimensions, and I see interior dimensions on a foundation, I get really upset. 
I don't want interior dimensions. I don't want interior dimensions. I want it. I want exterior dimensions. I don't want interior dimensions because that creates problem. All right. So I hope that's helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay in touch.